Hi, I'm Jana. I'm Nomi. And we are the, the Ronettes. The new Ronettes. Yes, the new Ronettes. <laughs> so today we're going to show you what our daily routine is backstage when we make our major transformation into a Ronettes. <laughs> so I, we both like to start with our eyebrows. Yes. Because that's the foundation for the canvas. It takes the longest. Yes. So here we go. Here we go. And we each do different techniques. So we'll be talking about our own techniques. Nomi will describe what works for her brow, and I'll describe what works for mine. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I like to use a brush very similar to this. What do you like to use, Nomi? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, okay. I know what I usually do. Just got her. I just start brush. with a small. Small brush, comb mine out. She combs first. Out. Mine's are a little wild, so I comb first, and then, well, first of all, I start with a little moisturizer. Just a bit. and she uses she likes to use a shea butter. Yeah, hers. natural, organic, yeah. anything not too oily. Just give me a good base, so you're not putting chemicals right on your face. That's and I that. like to use what is this? A flawless foundation primer by. Um, who knows? <laughs> and you don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. Because basically it just kind of stops the product from going into the pores. Now, we are doing something that is based around a certain period. Absolutely. So, the style of the makeup that we're going to do for the show has to stay within that style, but we also like to slip a few things in. Give it a little touch of who we are. Have some fun. Yeah, but we try to keep it 60s. Now, I mix brands. I know you mix brands. We all we both do, so I we're mean, not really loyal to any particular brand. I like hair store products yes. as well as the higher end products yep. for some things. Mm -hmm. Stuff that goes to our skin, we tend to like to go with more natural things. Absolutely. So I'm gonna start with just a little liner. So there she goes. And I start with my eyebrow gel. I start right away. So what I do is I start I paint the arch of my eyebrow from underneath. So we're just gonna go. Her eyebrows are way more shaped than mine. Mine just like to run away with wind and do their own thing. Now mind you, well, that's okay. Mind you, my eyebrows have been plucked to the nines because <laughs> I had the only unibrow. No, you never Yeah, unibrow. I did. My that my eyebrows really had no definition. They were just very thick, but they had no definition. They were just kind of wiry looking all over the place. Like mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you see? to give a little outline. Yeah, first. See, she goes outline. I go underneath. I start underneath, and then I paint down, and then I just fill in by brushing the product up. You really just want to follow the natural hair pattern. Mm -hmm. Don't draw on a whole new brow. No. Like, don't shave them off and draw them on. No. You know, don't draw. Don't, no. No. Follow what you have here. Yes. And don't go too hard. Yeah. We are going a little extra because it's, it is it's stage, for stage. It's stage makeup. Right. But you can do the same thing. But lighter for every day. Absolutely. Yeah. I heard a, a makeup artist. Okay, so I actually started with charcoal, mm -hmm. and now I'm going to blend with the brown. There you go. I'm going to blend because I don't want to be too too dark. But I heard a, a, a MUA say just recently. You know, he was teaching a class. First thing he said before he got too far into the class was, first things first. I want you all to know, social media makeup, movie makeup, stage makeup is not everyday makeup. Nope. That's number one. Don't think because you see these girls on social media and film and TV that that's what you're supposed to look like going to work every day. It's not. You don't need 15 layers of makeup just to sit at your desk all day or work in a retail store or it, whatever you Yeah, need. it tends to look dry, dry queenish. Yeah, it's not that. It's too much. It, it's unrealistic. We're all looking at you like, girl, what show are you about to do? <laughs> Okay. America's next top drag race. I believe makeup was meant to enhance. 
Yeah, you're just giving yourself a little a lift, a jugeing oh, of sorts. So now, that's my eyebrows. Now, because she's very meticulous with hers, so she spends <laughs> a lot more time on her eyebrows. I do. I spend a lot more time on my shadows. Now, my next thing is I like to give them a little highlighter. So I have this uh, mineral from NYX, and it's just, um, you know, one of those little highlighting lipsticks. And I use a brush that looks, if you can see this, Boop. like this. All right. So I start with under the eyebrow first. We're in, by the way, we're in London. London. We're at the Roundhouse, the yes. legendary Roundhouse. And we're really excited because we have some special guests coming this yeah. evening. Yeah. This is Amy Winehouse's show. mom is here. Yay! By the way. So she happens to have kept in touch with Ronnie Spector. Yeah. Who is, uh, was one of Amy's um, icons that she adored. So it was beautiful that they got a ch Did they get a chance to meet when Amy was alive? Um, oh, no. I'm not quite sure. I, for, I can't remember. We'll have to we'll have to come back with you. Yeah, we'll come. We'll get more info. But yeah, uh, Ronnie and Amy's mother are now friends. They communicate. I believe there might be something in the works um, that Amy did for Ronnie, which is amazing. Um, but her mom is here. Of course, we couldn't have come to London and you know, do a tribute to Amy without her mom giving us her blessing. So that means a lot. Yeah, because in the show, we do uh, Back to Black. Right. And uh, because it was Ronnie Spector who inspired Amy in that style of music. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> so I've used the pencil, the black started with the black, and now I'm filling with the brown, but I always like to take just a little powder. Okay? Yeah. A little dark powder. To soften them. Soften up. Yep. Yeah, and see, I use the highlighting under and above, and all I'm doing is just defining the look. Now, it always looks clownish before you put the rest of the stuff Right, through. it does. Yeah. Note, you look like a clown. Yeah. If you do not blend, blot, all that good stuff. See? Not to brow. Yeah. These are our brows. And as funny as it looks, it's going to look fabulous. Fabulous, darling. It's all about That's filling in. Word. All about filling in all those little spaces. Little and just spaces. Nooks and little crannies. Little and having it just a little something to give it a little lift. Yes. Her her natural arch is amazing. But you can achieve. You you have to find your own arch. You just have to see with your hair pattern where it grows for you and your face. My my eyebrows don't look like that without <laughs> <laughs> without the help of all of this. Then I'm going to use. Did I bring it? Dun 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 dun. I did not. Did I not? Oh yes, I did. I put it in a container. So I just found in. A eyeshadow primer. So I put that on the put that on the eyelid. It kind of helps the um, foundation pop. Absolutely. And it protects the lid. If you'd like to use some, you may know me. And your your eyelid is really sensitive. I, I so just had, say what happened. What did you? Oh what God. happened to you? So I found these really great cloths at the wall. And um, they're, they're really good, honestly. I still at like the them. Wall. At the Explain wall. Explain what the wall is. At the wall, Mart. There you go. <laughs> Found these really great cloths, and they allow you to just wet the cloth, and it has these microfibers in the cloth where you don't have to use any product or chemical to take off your makeup or wash your face. So I like to travel with them. I don't have to worry about adding anything to the cloth. I'll just wet it, and I'll take off my makeup. However, I think I went a little too hard right on my eyelid Oops. because the skin is more sensitive. So you can't really scrub your eye area. And I got a little sore there. It's healed now, but just for maybe two or three days, it was really sensitive. So it's really important to protect your skin first before you put any other product on it. Girl. Good point. I know. Don't 
I'm gonna do that again. I know. I've been using them for years, and that's like the first time that that happened. Isn't that crazy? I think I have been drinking. <sighs> See, this is what happens. Let me tell you what happens when you buy cheap stuff. True. I don't know if you can see this, but anyway, it's all crumbled and Oh fallen. no, the purple? It's crumbled and fallen. I just got that. I just did. Jeez but... Louise, it's okay. I'm gonna use it anyway. The same thing happened to my pop and stuff. Not pop. But, uh. Okay. Okay, so good. We have brows on now. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm actually catching up to Jenna. Now that I've done what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do almost exactly what she did. I'm going to take a little bit of, let's see. Yeah, she's got a highlight under because that's going to really set the definition yeah. of the brow. I'm going to use this little baby nice. right here. Oh, by the way, don't mind the price sticker. This is called Perfect Colors 9 by Nika K. Hair Star. And it was really <laughs> cheap and it's effective. I actually wear this on stage. Yeah, it works for my life. Oh, which it reminds has me. Different shades. I can do whatever I need to do all in this one little palette. Under five bucks. Sweetness. Yeah, five bucks. Sweetness. I said it. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like to give really nice highlight yeah. underneath the brow line. Just to make it a little stagey for what we're doing. I really need to shape it. I need to tend to my brows. So the makeup will help conceal <laughs> all of the imperfections. But that's what makeup is all about. Absolutely. Masquerading your imperfections to make it appear perfect. You just follow the line. Yep, you just follow the line. I'm doing a, um, I do a little gold mm -hmm. on top of my um, little highlighter. Like yeah. Golden. Now look at that. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Look at that. It's natural. Just the lift. Boom. Boom. And I'll put a touch on the top. And then what I'm going to do with the top is I'm going to go over that. Mm -hmm. Tone it down because right now it's clownish. Right. I know I look like a clown. But trust me, there's a method to it. There is a method to the method. Okay, so that's it, little clown. Now, we're wearing fuchsia dresses. So, what I like to do is I will take a purple and I will fill in. My I naturally have like a little darkness over here, so I just kind of paint in that whole area with my purple and then I fade it out. You work with what you have, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so cool when you do this. It's almost like a little eraser. Yeah. To, you know, just sculpt your brows. Mm -hmm. And the finishing touch to most of our makeup is what? A great lash and a wig. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And what I love is that we are not slaves to wigs. We love our hair. As I just twisted mine up mm -hmm. real quick. She has really nice hair. My hair, not so much. No, oh, stop it. I, as you can see, I'm in the process of growing up my bald edges. <laughs> but I'm taking you on that journey with me. It's not. You guys don't even listen. It's nope. because she made the conscious decision to shave them. You know, y'all know y'all out there right now listening to us. Like she, she ain't bald. She just styled her hair. She shaved her 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 sides into a mohawk, and it was fierce. I shaved. Now tell you, she's in the throwback. Let me tell you what happened, guys. So I shaved my hair in a mohawk. I said, "My hair is so thin and raggedy on the sides. I'm just gonna shave it off." So I shaved it off in a nice little mohawk, right? Then when the hair grew back, my edges took a rest. <laughs> <laughs> They took a rest. And the other hair was growing around the bald edges. And I was like, oh, Lord. But, so I'm doing another YouTube video on what I did to grow it back. Because, to be honest with you, my edges were all the way back here. God. I'm done. Oh! That's an inside joke. And we're going to fill you in on that. <laughs> or not. Or not. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't ever. Okay. Okay. All I'll say, this is never okay. Okay? Okay? That 
is Lion King. Okay. Okay. Not this direction. No. Okay. Not, not here. Even though I love Lion King. Yeah, but no, honey. Do not do this and walk out the door. Yes. I only do this because I I have a wider nose. So I give myself just a little bit of head. <laughs> give myself just a little bit of something, something. And then I follow it up with a little bombshell shadow. That's now, cool. I use this and it has a nice little pigment in it and it has a little shimmer. I'm still going with my purple as you can see. There you go. Still purple in the go here. See what? Look, I got punched in the face. You do not. <laughs> You do not. I just yeah. ring around, ring around, ring, ring around. So something, something there. It's, I'm building. Build. That is the key word. Build. I'm gonna get better. I'm not as good as a real seasoned makeup artist. Oh, of course. But we're we're getting there. Yeah. You know, when you don't have uh, the coins, the coins on the production. That's right. For that to take place, I mean, you create it out of whatever you have. But we know. Our show. Oh, God. I'm quite. Now I'm doing. Um, is this the right one? I don't know if we can see it. It looks like you can't see it. But. Oh, here it is. It looks purple, but it's like fuchsia. And it this. really pops. It pops. So I take that. And I put that in the very, very center. So I can give it a little. You gotta hurry. No. What time is it? Let's see. We're good. Our show is at eight fifteen. And this is, is the hardest part. It's eight seven twenty eight. Seven twenty eight. Yeah. So, so let's go. I'm gonna add just a pop color here. Cause we are doing fuchsia tonight. Yeah. So I'm gonna play with the colors. She's doing the purple, which is amaze balls. And you can, if you like some, you may also. I may do that. Indulge. Because it is a very nice purple. I'm going to indulge. Just a bit. Yeah. Oh, wait. First, hold on. I like to, we're talking about building, right? I'm going to start with the brown. Yes. Yeah. my crease. Yep. Okay. Yep. Now, we're talking about the brunettes. We're talking about the 60s here, okay? They are known for their cat eye. Yeah. So that's, okay. the, that's the one thing that we build. Right. Yeah, I sometimes will put my cat on cat on first or last. Yeah, very last. Yeah. But today I'm putting my cat on last and I'm building the shadow. So for the cat eye, you have to know your eye. You have to know your eye. Different cat eyes, it's a different cat eye stroke works differently for different eyes. Yeah, absolutely. As you can see, I'm just coming to a point here, okay? Yeah. I'm following the bottom lash line for the most part and I'm working my way up. Okay. Just the it's a little sloppy, but if you follow the bottom <coughs> of your lash line, which will you so see when I actually put on my liquid right. liner, you'll get it more. But this is really just the base here before I put on the pop color, just to create like a smoky, smoky. Yeah, and that's gonna look nice combined with the purple. Oh yeah, and then with you know her other um, pink that I gave her. She did. She did. It, hers, it's, it's funny. We look similar in colors, but like hers, two, she's, like a little, two shades. she's a little lighter. Not even. Even yeah. that little lightness affects what a shadow can it look does. like on different skin types. It does. On me, that didn't show up. Um, so anyway, now I'm getting ready to do my cat. So what I do with my cat is I meow. use this uh, physician. Meow. I use a physician's formula. It is, um, and it's a felt tip. It's like you twist it. And this stuff comes, uses out. I love it. So, now what I like to start, the broadest part of my cat, right where the my eye is in the middle. That's where I'm going to have the widest. So I kind of start right in the middle of my eye. This is my little technique. And it's going to be a little an, an exaggerated cat. Mm -hmm. Because, once again, this is show business. That's right. So. I'm a messy cat right now. Yeah. Okay. 
And so it doesn't matter if it's a little messy initially, because you're going to keep going over it and you can perfect the it. The build. Yeah. It's a build. So I start like that. And then I take it here and I close it up. Oh, it looks like a triangle. See that? And then what I do is I fill this in because it's going to accent the lashes once they go on. Accent the possibility. You got it. Helps it everything. <laughs> Let me get on it. Hold on. So see? But then you got to take it you still have to do a corner, go into the corner and go out because the lash, without it, it throws off the lash, the look of the lash. So it's going to be a little exaggerated. It's going to be a lot more cat than you would use in like everyday life. Absolutely. Because you have to understand this is after all stage. Right. You see? <laughs> now you guys look at how this purple is showing up on me yeah see that so you have to know your shades you have yep. to know what you're capable of what works for you when I go to the makeup store I don't know about you y'all but sometimes I, if you can if you can sometimes when you go to the drugstore you can't test the products right you gotta buy it and waste your money and see what works and what doesn't but if you can test the product, you test it right on the inside of your yes. arm. Yes, yes. Okay, so closest to your face. And you can see what works. And what right, works. that's right. This shows up really well. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, kiss. Okay, kiss professional. Yeah, it's really vibrant. It's almost like an iridescent kind of purple. Get at us, kiss. Right. And, I, and I'm so bad that I don't even remember where. Still don't have a clue. Either. Don't have a clue. Now, I'm going to leave just a little bit of space on the inside of my eye, and I'm going to blend my pink in. Okay? So you, you have fun with your eyes, girl. You can do whatever you want. Here's a little secret that very few people know. One of my eyes, the vision is not as good as the other one. Me either. So it kind of makes... This eye is not doesn't have good vision. This eye has good vision. So it's easy for this eye to perfect this eye, but it's mm -hmm. harder for this eye to perfect that one. Because, you know, it's easy to close a good eye, a bad eye, and let the good eye, you know. Right. But when you're closing the bad eye, you're working in the dark. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. So right now my cat on my bad eye looks a little sloppy. And so what I do to fix that yes oh. I clean it up with liquid clean up, clean so what up. I do is I take a liquid liner I take a little liquid liner and just gingerly go over the top to just smooth it out a bit make it look a little more finished This a little more saturated. And you want to widen but to come down or and like kind of open up into your bottom line. You know you want your V to widen and open widen to the point where it opens to the bottom lash because we're gonna we always line our bottom lashes. Yep. Which I hate doing this, it's always hard. It's thick, yeah. I think that's why I want too hard on getting it out. Yeah. That's what I really don't, I mean. And then lining, and then this is basically it. I'm basically done with my eyes. Um, and the only thing I'm going to do now is just put on a, mat, a lash. So what I do is typical, you know, the bottom lash line is nothing outside of what you girls already know how to do. Now, I'm going to take a pause, small yep. pause for the cause, 
And I'm actually going to put on just a little foundation. Yeah, see, that's what we like to do. We like to... We put the foundation after we do the eyes. Yeah. Mainly because we're not ones who put a lot of foundation nah. near or on our eyes. So now, I have under eye issues. So I like to just She's highlight got something, yeah. under my eyes. This is for all the girls who were born with bags like me. Literally. And, uh, yeah, just give it a little something, something there. As you notice, I'm using my fingers. Hmm, why is she using her fingers to put that stuff on her face? Well, in our experience, we found that sponges and other things really eat your product. You and go. you don't want that. Or you don't want to waste. I know. Okay? We don't want to like, waste. Girl, we spent too much money on this stuff to get, mis to get wasted in a product. That's right. But I know a lot of makeup artists like using sponges because they work on a lot of different people. They do. I get it. They get their, they have their ways and... Yeah. This thing, this thing, we not, we not, we not uh, posing for Vogue. I can't afford to do that. I don't put so much product on my forehead. Do you want to know the reason why? Tell why. Because the bang covers it. <laughs> so it's like, why? Mm -hmm. What kind of forever? <laughs> so we're like, why put on all this makeup on forehead and dab all this when you got a bang covering it? That's right. I'm just using... NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation. Yeah. Okay? And I am SM15 in chestnut. So you can yeah. see that. Got it right from the hair store. It's my shade. It works for me. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Go for it, girls. Whatever. Listen, I'm not, the hair using, store. I'm not using. Believe it or not, I came all the way to the UK mm -hmm. and I realized. Holy camoly, I left my foundation at home. What am I going to do? Because, you know, they don't really have stuff for black girls. Um, they have a lot of stuff for mixed chicks. Uh -huh. But not a lot of, you know, foundation colors. But they're catching up. Mm -hmm. And I found Elf. Love it. And I found my shade. So now I take, I like to take this little brush and just kind of blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, ladies. <laughs> the reason why we don't do like all that heavy, heavy blending. Contouring, like the fairy, yeah, contouring five on. different foundations. Because for the most part, we're not really lit. Uh, mag we're not lit like a magazine. Mm -hmm. It's not harsh light. It's, it's not, not even, you know, yeah, we have so, stage lighting, but. Yeah, sometimes when we're in the dark. A lot, mm -hmm. so or or the lighting is has a shadow over it, so we're a cast. Wash. We're ca yeah, so we're either casting either blue or fuchsia lighting, and that's not going to show up. Uh, it's not going to be like a beauty light on a photo right. shoot. So yeah, at this point, yeah, now that we're done with the foundation, mm -hmm. I'm going to take my little brush. And I'm gonna do just a small contour, nothing fancy. Yeah, we like contour more so than blush. I'm using uh, HD Flawless Powder from Absolute New York, and again, it's in crumbly little pieces. We always have that dilemma. It's crazy when you travel. We gotta do something about that. Now, okay. I tend to like to highlight my um, cheeks as well. I know we should do the neck, but we're not trying to put makeup on our costume. So the, ne the neck ain't gonna happen. Nope. Not gonna happen. There you go. Just really Look following. Follow your cheekbone. I have very high cheekbones. Yes. So you just follow. I, I mean, if this helps, do this. Right. Okay? And that shows you exactly where the line should be. Yeah, that from, works. From right here to the, where your hair stops to the tip of your lips, inside of your lips. And I like to do a little highlight duster here, mm -hmm. right under the eye, and I dust. And it doesn't have to be perfect, girl. No, okay. it just has to, if you keep brushing back and forth enough, it'll blend in. Yeah. You know. That's and it. we're not doing, like I said, this isn't a fashion shoot. Absolutely. So the lighting, we don't have like the real beauty. We're not under beauty lights. Mm -mm. You know, 
Now, I like to use a little more powder versus liquid because I perspirate. Yeah. And, you we know. We both tend to like. Yeah. Liquid is, believe it or not, kind of hard to get off. Yeah. Because all in your pores. Yeah. All that, you know. Even though I am using liquid now, only because I left my powder. I'm such a douche. I'm going to do just a little bit of the MIX. And just mm -hmm. a little bit of the blush. Just a bit. You don't want to look clowny. Just on the just giving a little a little lift right He's there. just giving a lift. Now, you okay. see? Got a little hot light on my cheeks. <laughs> Boom. It's coming together. It's coming together. Alright. Just, just blend it out so that it's not so that it's not too clownish. Now let's finish this up. I'm gonna take a little highlighter to And then I do, believe it or not, I do like a little bit of highlight on the nose, but not to the point that it's clownish. Please, no train tracks, girls. Uh -uh. If you're gonna do this, blend it in, blend it in. Oops. There you go. There you go. I like to save the lips for last, and that's mm -hmm. it. That's basically it. The only thing I have left to do now is throw on a lip and a lash and a wig. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna show you how to do the wigs. We're gonna come. Oh, we're gonna already have the costume on when we come back. But we'll come back with the finished look. Yeah, but we'll definitely show you. I'm not gonna really do like a lash video because that's a whole other video. You can find those on YouTube. We're just showing you how we do ours. I'm gonna have a little fun tonight. I'm actually using. What you use? Navy. Navy. Navy liner on my bottom. That's lid. cute. That works nice on you. Just a little pop. I'm nothing too much. It. I don't want to piss off my boss. But I want to have a little fun too. Yeah, and it's and it's giving just enough zhuzh. And it works with the color, you know, look yeah. at that. Yeah. Alright, what's the time? We gotta check our time. Time check. 7.43. Oh, okay. One half hour. So you see how fast we, you see how fast we work? So it's not anything so too elaborate. Right. It's just enough. Never too much, never too much, never too much, never too much. Right? Oop. What lashes should I wear today? I know, and that's another thing. We have like Jeez. different pairs of lashes. Maybe I should go big. Yeah, we. Oh, lashes. Lash galore. We do go through a few lashes. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Let's see, should I wear these today? Which one? They're huge. That might not be so bad. It's a big, I find that... It's a bigger arena. I find that... The more clownish our lashes are, and even though... Yeah. <laughs> I find that the more clownish... And you have to say that out loud. Yes. <laughs> she asked, could she borrow my glue? And of course she can borrow my glue. What, I'm gonna, what am I going to say? We no. We always do this to No, go lashless. <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> Never. No, you ain't going to lashless today. don't thing. ever do that. Because we know Mine is the, around here somewhere. Because we know at the end of the work. day, it's about we we are a team. That's right. And the team does not let the other person like. Can you imagine if I was the type that if she didn't have anything, and I would say, "No, you didn't bring yours, so you do without." That's horrible. That's just not who I am. It's like if she didn't bring something, we, we do gonna that. we gonna work out how we can. Now look at here. We usually like to use the dark. Yeah glue however yeah we don't have it <laughs> this works just fine it will dry and once i put the liner on you won't be able to see it then. yeah we do you're like the fine. dark and i do have the black one and i don't know why i didn't pull it out you're fine dark glue is great you know i, I, I would recommend the dark glue for everyday wear if you're going to be up in somebody's face yeah you're going to be pretty far 
What else? What I, else? I thought I had some dark glow. What did I do? No worries. I'll Remember? Oh. We were watching this movie, and they did a close-up on the actress. And baby... Baby. Could you not see where the lash... I mean, I, I would think that in motion pictures, they would at least do individual lashes. It was a Because mall. that looks natural, those individual lashes. You see what I'm doing here, right? Okay. Lash glue gets tacky under heat and air. Put it up to the light. Because we want it to be tacky, wacky. Tacky before you apply it. You have to know when to apply it. It will be all over this beautiful color. You don't want to mess up your work. Right. Okay. Yeah. I tend to like to put mine uh, more on the outside than on the end. Some, uh -huh. Because my eyes are kind of almond. Creates more of a wing. Yes. I like a wing. Mm -hmm. So we've got to... We got a wing and zhuzh up. I'm a little blind myself. So I'm going to do the same. Start from the outside. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. And there we go. Let's get really like you were here. Yep. Now, now this is the full effect. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Is this the same girl that you saw before? Walked in with they didn't have the makeup on. <laughs> oh my god, my nose is running. <laughs> All right, now the last thing that we do is our lips and hair. I either do my I either do my lips last or um. I like to put the the um, my dress on before I put the wig on, and I'll tell you why. Because you say, okay, now you notice you got a whole lot of hair going on here. Well, what happens is I basically like to put the hair inside my collar, and I take this down. I do have it up, so what you do, what I do is I have to take it down. All I do is just um, sit back. I just tie it in a knot. Well, tie it in a Here we go. So, see my little extensions. So I take this down and I have this hair tied, and I just kind of tie it in the back, just so that they don't get all out, just to keep them together. And that's that. Now, lipstick, I usually start with a dark red, and I don't go all the way out to the creases, I just kind of go sort of in the, just not quite to the tip. Because I don't like that when the crease starts bleeding. Mm -hmm. I don't like that at all. And then I just put them together and I just tape. I trace this, the vermilion. The vermilion ridge. So now this looks... <clears throat> Excuse me. She's so glad. Because ah! I'm a lady. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> so I liked, um, I don't really like red lipstick on myself. I think it's a little harsh. So what I'll do is I'll either put a bright red with a fuchsia to lighten it up. But I'm noticing that this fuchsia ain't lightening up crap. So, actually it's not too bad. It's not bad. Mm. That a little more. So I'll fuchsia this one because uh, you know, like I said, the dresses are fuchsia. So fuchsia and red. What is going on over there? Oh, I'm just doing my uh, uh -huh. lash glue mm -hmm. dry dance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't pay her no mind. So now what I do is I take a almost like a pink frost, and I just 
dabble the lower lip. And now look, don't y'all be chopping me up. Yes, I'm lining my lips. Yeah. Okay. No, it actually helps to line them because then you're gonna go. It's gonna go over with the you know brighter mm -hmm. colors. You won't be able to you see, won't see it. You know, and it is in there. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Now, I think they need just a little bit more liner. So sometimes I'll go over to the top of them and line them up. Uh, you know, the liner, the line that I, I'm making, the cat eye, it is like so thick that it looks almost ridiculous. It looks like a clown. But from stage, it looks great. It's perfect. It's perfect. If I were to walk, walk down the street with this, they'd be like, what drag show is that drag queen in? It's just going back to what we just said at the beginning. Stage makeup is over not the top. everyday makeup. No. Yeah. It isn't over the top. I don't want to see y'all walking down the street with these big ass lashes on. No, no, it's not. It's Huge. Not. It's not a look. But it's perfect for us. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes, I think I'm going to do more of a powder lip today. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I am actually using um, MAC and Frost. And I've always used a brown liner, so now I'm just Where's your Mac and Frost? Mac Frost, right there. Mm -hmm. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. There, we go. there it is. Okay. I don't know if it's. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> right. This is not. The, this is yeah. not the best camera. So at some point, I'm going to invest in a really good one. Right. Okay. Until now, you're gonna get a sneak peek with my GoPro. And right. look at that. Pale pink natural lip, right? Feels good on too. Yes. Then I'm gonna go. We talked about the build. Yes, yeah, she's still building. Now I'm okay, getting ready to get in my dress. Okay. You keep building, girl. I but you're too high. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. Here All we go. right, there you go. Okay, like I gotta get. Let me get onto her. Okay, there we go. See what happened there? Just went a little bit darker with the build. The pink. Here's the secret. You ready for this? We're gonna do your lips. <laughs> the guys love it when you do that, and it helps to keep the lipstick off the teeth. <laughs> and it really works. I had to put a little more glue on this lash. Sometimes when you have a bigger lash, you gotta go back and put a little more glue. Sometimes this should be just tacky enough. Wait, you're getting off camera. Oh crap! Here we go. What? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, with a bigger, heavier lash, you're gonna notice. You gotta take your time. Yes. Sometimes when my nails are done, they actually help with this process because it's almost like a little tweezer on your fingers. Yep. You know.